What is entertainment? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christian. Wait, what are you doing? Keep it moving, folks. Let's keep it moving. What am I doing? I'm trying to speed up the video, get to the content you were talking about, and stick to the end of this video to learn more about this channel, as well as share this video with your friends and family. Okay, would you like to define what entertainment is? Sure. Today, we will be discussing what is entertainment and a definition of entertainment. It's a show put on for the enjoyment or amusement of others. Looking at this definition, we see that entertainment is for the enjoyment of others. So, I'm going to name five different types of entertainment that we engage in a daily basis, which are TV shows, movies, video games, animation, comics slash books. Sure, there are others like plays and etc. But I mostly want to focus on these, which we call platforms. A definition of platform is an application or website as a base from which a service is provided. Looking at this definition, we see that a platform is a type of service that is provided to us. While this does apply to websites, I think it's applicable here as well. You see, TV is a platform, movies is a platform, etc. These are different platforms with different ideas on how they approach them. And in these platforms, we have what are called categories. And a definition of category is any division in a system of classification, class, or group. Looking at this definition, we see that categories are a type of group that clarifies the particular platform that we use every day in our lives. Now, let's take this a step further and look at the definition of each of the five platforms and what they represent. First, Let's see what a TV show means and what it defines, which is a program broadcast by television. Looking at this definition, we see it's a program that runs on our TVs, smart TVs, etc. Think of a program like the show Sherlock Holmes, Big Bang Theory, would be considered a TV show. And most TV shows only last 22 minutes long and have about 10 minutes commercials in between. Or, it is a streaming service that you use to watch your program. These TV shows can be put into categories of the type of program you are watching. And to name a few are sitcom, episodic episodes, or slice of life, or fantasy, sci-fi, action, romance, etc. Now, Let's look at the definition of a movie, which is recording of moving images that tells a story that people watch on a screen or television. Looking at this definition, we see that it is a story of moving images. In other words, it's a type of visual storytelling, and movies tend to be longer. 90 minutes being the norm, but tell one grander story rather than individual stories like in a TV show. Now, let's look at the definition of animation, which is a dynamic visual medium produced from static drawings, models, or objects posed in a series of incremental movements that are then rapidly sequenced to give the illusion of life-like motion. Looking at this definition, we see that animation is a series of drawings that create movement. And the reason it is a separate category from movies is that animation can be a category all on its own and can be for adults, teens, children, etc. It's not necessarily just for children, even though most American TV shows make it for them, but it can be used for an older audience. The next definition we have is video games. And the definition of video games is an electronic game in which players control images on a video screen. Think of video games as a combination of a movie and a game you play, like being able to control your main character interactively. This could be a category on its own too. 
let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to expand upon this. Our next one is comics, and the definition of comics is an artistic medium consisting of juxtaposed pictorial and other images in deliberate sequence intended to convey information and or produce an authentic response in the viewer. Looking at this definition, we see that comics are another type of medium of drawn characters in sequences that may be stacked, but your brain can feel the motion of each character. And finally, we have books, and the definition of book is a handwritten or printed work of fiction or non-fiction, usually on sheets of paper fastened or bound together with covers. Books are another form of entertainment, and some of you may think books are old and not used anymore. But I still think there's a crowd for them, because even I read fiction books. While this is a lot of information, I want to discuss each category in future videos. This way, we know what we are building rather than going in blind. So, I hope this helps you understand what entertainment is and the different forms of entertainment. If you like this content, down below, there is a little black button called subscribe and this tells me you enjoyed this content and if you want to take it further then click the bell icon and go to the top where you see a bell with rings on the side and you will be notified when I post new videos. Now if you want to share this video with your friends and family down below is a little share link where you copy that link and share it on your favorite social media platform. Join me next time where we will discuss what is a movie and never forget animated Christian is just for you.